afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, January the 20th. It's the second week after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 25 to 48, and Genesis chapter 9, verse 18 to 29. And please join me in singing the verse 6 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. Wide as the world is your command, vast as eternity your love, firm as a rock your truth must stand. When rolling you shall cease to O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my soul lies in the dust. Revive me according to your word. Alleluia, Psalm 119. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, my soul lies in the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have declared my ways and you heard me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts. So shall I tell of your wondrous works. My soul pines away for grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of deceit. Teach me your law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Your judgments have I laid before me. I bind myself to your testimonies. Do not put me to shame. I will run the way of your commandments when you shall enlarge my heart. Teach me the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for your law is my delight. Incline my heart to your will, and not to love of gain. Turn my eyes away from what is false. Give me life in your way. Keep your promise to your servant who fears you. Turn away the reproach which I fear, for your judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after your precepts. Give me life in your righteousness. Let your love come upon me, your salvation according to your word. So I shall answer them that taught me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth out of thy mouth, for I have hoped in your judgments. So shall I keep your law continually, forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your truths before rulers, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in your commandments, which I have loved. And I lift up my hands to your commandments, and I will meditate in your statutes. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my soul lies in the dust. Revive me according to your word. Alleluia. A reading from Genesis chapter 9, beginning at verse 18. The sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was peopled. Noah, a man of the soil, was the first to plant a vineyard. He drank some of the wine and became drunk and lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. 
When Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan. Lowest of slaves shall he be to his brothers. And he also said, Blessed by the Most High my God be Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. May God make space for Japheth, and let him live in the tents of Shem, and let Canaan be his slave. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Brother Don Columba, Bill and Paul. For the aged and the infirm, especially Brother Ronald Francis and Marjorie. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prison reform, for prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Brother Robert Patrick, Carol, and Lloyd, that together with Fabian and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. In your law we find the path to freedom. Spread your love and salvation upon us, and bend our hearts to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace, in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia.